Hello, my shotzi, my cookie, <laughs> and my blomi of Arki. I haven't decided what we're going to call it yet. I uh, did a video yesterday, but then I totally forgot to show you the bump. <laughs> so there is 37 weeks. So, not long to go. Very cute. You guys, um, oh, there's a bum or something. You guys help me in the evenings sometimes to to rub my tummy, and uh, while Daddy's rubbing my legs, that gets so swollen. Um, yeah, so I really didn't have much planned to say today, but then I realised that there's this really really weird thing that I do. Um, that I thought I would share. <laughs> so I had a conversation with Omar yesterday and <clears throat> I kind of said to her like, I know she's going through a really hard time with Mutti, but her and Wim Imrat and Wim Imrat, Opa Imrat has also just been for a massive operation, so he's not really feeling well and not really able to help mom or Oma with a lot of Mutti stuff and the two of them um, are banging heads a little bit and I kind of said to her, I sent her a voice note afterwards to say that you know we have to be incredibly careful with how impatient we are with the people that are closest to us so I know that patience is one of my worst like I just don't it's not one of my virtues I, I don't have a lot of patience this is something that I try and work on a lot, but it is not easy for me because I just I get irritable and I go from zero to hero. I'm go from calm to I'm gonna rip your head off. Just for example, like last night, you guys were rubbing my stomach, rubbing my stomach, and I said, okay, that's enough cream, and you took more cream, and I said, okay, guys, that's enough cream now, and you took more cream, and I mean, it's just cream, it's just cream on my stomach. But the next second, like, I exploded, and I was like, ah, you guys are just making this horrible, you're taking this great experience, you're just making it crap, and <laughs> I think to myself afterwards, like, really, was that necessary? It's just cream, it's just two little girls rubbing cream on my stomach. But that short fuse and that, yeah, anger is there. So, I know that I also scream at you way too regularly about stupid stuff so I thought to myself the other day like oh maybe I should treat you like a stranger because if anyone else had to do what you did like the belly rubbing incident if that was a complete stranger I would never have shouted at them that like that I would never have spoken to anyone else's children the way I spoke to you guys like about silly things making mud in the backyard or playing um, in the front when we don't want you to play in the front or on the orby trick or like whatever like there's just these silly little things that you do that I like obliviate you I like I scream at you so much and I have no patience and like I would never do that to someone else's kid and I thought like you know I do this and I know it's a really really strange thing to do but like I imagine you're all dead like or I imagine there was a movie way back when called Sliding Doors where your life could literally just have gone in that direction versus this direction. So like I imagine my life without you and Peyton and Dad, you know? And I think like I really have to be a lot more thoughtful and grateful of what I have. Um and I mean, this is this is just really ridiculous. But I mean, I do just think how quickly these things change. How if you all got in the car and you got into an accident and it was all gone, like I don't know, it's, you 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 just reassess. Or well, I try to do this quite regularly so that I can reassess and try and work on my patience and try and. So I'm using a really strange method, but for a good result, and it's not something that I have achieved, this is an ongoing result, uh, ongoing process for me, and I think that's most probably 
where I am at, and like in life, that you can't, I can't just sit back and say, okay, well, I'm an okay mom, I'm just going to leave it at that, because I'm not, I'm a pretty shit mom, and I'm working on it, I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to learn how to do this, because it's just not something that was built into me very naturally, um, so that's what I wanted to say to Oma and Opa as well, you know, could Oma sit down for five minutes and imagine her life without Opa, and maybe just the small things that really irritate them about one another, like, just don't sweat the small stuff, man, just like, let it go, but you kind of need to take those five minutes at the beginning of the day, which is also something that I'm aspiring to doing, not necessarily meditate or anything, but just sit down before the days, rush to brush your teeth, rush to, rush to get to school, everything starts, to sit down and assess and realize and make that very conscious uh, connection between how grateful I have to be for everything that I have and how hopefully more love and more patience will flow from that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. Like I said, it was a quick one. I've got a rush to get to foodie club and then prepare for your birthday party tomorrow morning. <sighs> My child is six, I can't believe it. And the other one's three and the other one is almost being born. So it's all a bit surreal. <laughs> Still haven't quite gotten my head around the fact that I'm going to be, you know, a married woman with three children <laughs> soon. <laughs> I mean, I've been married to dad since 2010, you know, for almost nine years. Anyway, I just, this was never, I never expected for my life to end up being this amazing and it is, so I have to be grateful. Okay, love you guys. Bye bye, Liefiele. Bye.